Hey guys, Tim, Chusky Hillbilly here from Second Wind Farmstead. Um, as most of you know, if you've been keeping up with us, we're doing more and more with the rabbits. Um, hasn't been extremely profitable yet, but we're not giving up. But in that line, um, we've been expanding our hutches and our capacity to have different rabbits separated out for breeding. And in doing so, we have found, of course, we need more feed and waterers. I don't know about you guys, but these things are getting extremely expensive. The bottles are $8 to $10 a piece now, and those automatic feeders are up there. I've seen them as much as 15 So what we've got is a huge collection of empty coffee cans. We use them for a lot of stuff. Um, these particular cans, when you can find them, they're aluminum. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we can take one of these split it and make it into two functional feed and waterers one for water with the metal bottom one for feed with the plastic bottom and uh, save you a whole lot of money for just a little bit of time and effort for something that you're probably going to throw away or plant a geranium in anyway so first thing we're going to do is we're going to come about halfway and i'm going to get above there's actually two little grooves you know what let me let me do something here if i can See if I can get this paper off of it so you can see what we're doing looking at. All right, there are two. Still haven't got it. There we go. Now we're good my gas. Okay, and strip that out of the way. In the groove, there's a reason why, but we're going to come right in the middle of this groove and attempt to the hole in here. Just big enough to get the 10 step started in. And we are going to try. Um, hacksaws would be great for this. Um, small jigsaw. But we're using what we got right now. All right, all the way through. Now, word of warning at this point, everything on that fresh cut edge, if you're doing it that way, especially with the 10 snips, um, extremely sharp and jagged and pointy. So be very cautious so that you don't stick anything in your fingers. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a pair of pliers of some sort. In this particular case, we're using needle nose cause that's what I happen to have with me. And we're gonna go right here to this line and we're gonna start trying to fold that inward a bit just to kind of crown it around toward the inside i'm watching my wife earlier i'm thinking that 45 degree angle is a good way to do this because it kind of folds it onto itself and we'll start with we can just Snap out of the way. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to the next one, we're going to do the same thing. And that's the reason we cut in between those two ridges so that we can use those ridges as we fold.
See there? That's one of the sharp things I was telling you about. And if I had my glasses on or gloves, probably would not have stuck in my finger. I'm gonna snip those off. And uh, pass on. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna take the hammer. You wanna make sure you're on a good solid surface for this. Concrete steps, fork, block. Any of that's good. My current condition or position, I'm just using the saw table because it's already out. And the lighting is better here than it is on the concrete. And once you kind of tap it all down, you get it moved to the inside. You stand it up, you'll start just working that. Pin down. And it tries to jump out. Raise it back up. Hmm. Got one that wants to fight me here. We'll take the flyers back to it. Of course, it ever. tell you from earlier experience something like a concrete or a wood block or even an anvil or something that has a little less spring to it is better here so if you really want to match it flat get any of those little metal burrs just make them gone because you don't want them piercing the rabbit's lips or tongue or anything as they eat and drink Soft, very malleable. I hear something right there. And that's the trick. No more sharp edges, nice roll, metal can, metal bottom. Shouldn't rust. It's a uh, aluminum food grade. If it's bad for you, I'd be dead because I've been drinking coffee out of this stuff for 50 some odd years. That's not true. I'm only 50, so probably 40 some odd years. Because I have always been coffee. And we're going to repeat on the bottom of this one. Um, rather than force you to watch me hammer one more, I'll just bring you what I've already done. And uh, if you can see how smooth that is, I did this one over on the concrete block, so you can get a little bit better of a heel. Um, ideally, we're gonna take some glue. If you're interested and if you've got something you feel safe with the animals, I, however, I'm not gonna use any glue. I'm simply gonna snap the plastic ring back on the bottom. This is the one area I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. Are they gonna be able to knock it up and chew on this or not? Um, I'm going to take a, take a gamble that they don't, but another reason I'm not going to glue it, if they do, we pop it off when it gets full of holes. I go to the pile where I've got all my cans, grab another lid, slap it on the bottom, we're good for another month or so, however long it takes before they destroy it. So it's, it's self-healing with just a little bit of a work because we're going to use the other cans for other things. A couple of holes drilled into the side enables us to come in from the inside with some heavy gauge wire. And we'll be able to set it into the fence area with the wire to the outside, bread tie twist, and it'll hold it in place. You need to take it out to clean it, you can just untwist it and slide it away, but it keeps them from turning it, keeps them from flipping it, hopefully keeps them from meeting the bottom, and uh, mostly keeping them from spilling product that you have spent money on or water that you need. So that's it. Appreciate you watching. 
before you say, hey, Chusky, this is a great idea. I'm glad you thought about it. Props to where this came from. This was my wife's idea. Uh, she's kind of a genius. So, good job to her for being smarter than me and uh, for me being looking at the habit. Until next time, come out. <laughs>